In life, time and time again, I come across people, including myself, where we want a particular change or we want to be doing something different in life and we know there's some actions we should be taking, uh, but we just don't get started. We just don't feel motivated. We want the change, we really want the change. We really want to be doing something different and whatever it is, and it can be anything. It could be a new hobby, new skill. It could be changing something in our career or business. It could be changing something about our personality or our confidence, whatever it is. We want it, but we just don't feel motivated to do the actions we've got to do. And so what do we do about it? Well, that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mark Rhodes and welcome back to Massively Improved, the channel that makes personal development and change easy to do. So motivation, a lot of the time we say we're just not motivated. We really, really want some change or we really, really want to do something, but we just don't feel motivated to get started or we don't feel motivated to keep going. And we hear ourselves saying, so, well, I'm just not really that motivated. I can't get motivated. So what do we do about that? Well, first we have to understand what does motivation mean? And to me, it means motive to take action. And motive is reason, your reason to take action. And we'll do anything in life if we've got a big enough reason. <clears throat> I often use this really extreme example. Um, let's say we've got a parent who has a deadly fear of water. They hate water, they can't swim, they'd never get in a swimming pool, they just panic walking near a swimming pool because they've got such a dreaded fear of water. Now, if their young child that can't swim fall in, fell into a pool, they would just jump in, wouldn't they? They would jump in to save their child. Big enough reason to take that action. So that's an extreme example. So what we need with our um, goals or the changes we wanna take or the things we need to get on and do, um, we need a good enough reason to do it. That's what we need. But before we get into looking at, you know, what are the good enough reasons to take some action and to build this motivation? Because if you've got a list of reasons that really inspire you, that, that really make you feel, yes, I want that, then you're gonna have the motivation. But there are two types of motivation and we need to discover what type of motivation is gonna work for you in this scenario that you're looking to deal with. And so the two types, well, the two types we call either moving towards a great outcome or moving away from a bad outcome. So in any scenario, if we don't take any action, there could be a good outcome we're missing out on or a bad outcome that's gonna happen. So as an example, a very you know, bad sort of, probably be called animal cruelty example these days, but people often talk about the donkey and the carrot and the stick. You know, How do you get the donkey to move along if it's being stubborn and it doesn't wanna move? You could either wave a carrot in front of the donkey and motivate it and keep moving the carrot away so the donkey walks towards the carrot because the donkey really, really wants the carrot. Or the really awful example here is that you could hit the donkey with a stick um, to get it to move along and the donkey then moves along because it's moving away from the pain. So, you know, you've probably heard people say before, we move towards pleasure and away from pain. But let's take a sort of like more realistic everyday example. Let's say two people have got quite a bad financial situation and something's got to change. They know something's got to change because they've got to improve their financial situation or the worst could happen. Now, one person may decide that thinking about how great it's going to be and all the positives to their life when this is solved and sorted will motivate them to take action. So they'll think about the great outcome if they take this action, everything working out. So they're going to be motivated towards the great outcome, the great benefit. Whereas somebody else in exactly the same situation, they may be more motivated to take action by thinking about all the bad stuff that could happen if they don't take action. So the first person who's motivated by the good stuff may be thinking, oh, it'd be really great, get this sorted. If I take this action, I get this sorted, it'd be really great. We won't be worrying about money. We'll be able to pay the bills every month. We'll be able to go on a small holiday next year. And they're thinking about all that stuff and thinking, yeah, that's really great. I'm, I'm gonna get on with this, I'm gonna solve this because I want that. And that's the motivated towards, the carrot, if you like, motivation side. The other side 
is the motivated away from the stick thing. So that somebody else in the exact same situation could be starting to think, look, I've got to take action because if I don't, we're going to run out of money. The bank's going to be on our back. We could lose our house. The bailiffs could come round. The neighbours would see all this going on. The family would hear about it. It would be a nightmare. I've got to take some action. So we've got two people in the same scenario, but one is taking action by thinking about all the great things that will happen if they take the action. The other one is taking action by thinking about all the bad things they'll avoid if they don't take the action. Or the bad things they'll avoid if they do take the action rather, and the bad things that will happen if they don't take any action. And so the first thing we need to find out in any scenario, because sometimes with the way our minds work, I don't believe that anyone's all motivated towards or all carrot motivated. We, we change between what one's most effective for us based on the situation we're in. So what you really need to do is think about what it is you need to be motivated to, what actions do you need to be motivated to take, and what is that gonna give you? And then you make two lists. The first list you make is what are all the positives to my life if I take this action and achieve this end goal? So it might be, you know, I'd have more freedom, I'd have more time, I'd be happier, I'd be able to do things with the family, I'd be able to do things that the kids want to do, I'd be able to do this, we'd be able to, whatever. So you think about all the good things, all the positives if you're luck to your life if you were to take these actions and achieve these goals. Then you sit down and write out all the negatives to your life if you never do this. Well, we won't be able to do what we want in the future. I'll probably regret it in the future and think I never achieved my full potential. We won't be able to have the holidays we want to have or I won't be able to go for the promotions I want. I won't be living the social life that I want to want. Whatever it is that's relevant to the, to the actions you're looking to take, and the goals you're looking to achieve or the changes you're looking to make in your life. Whatever it is, on the one list, you're looking at all the positives to your life. If you could do it, how great it will be. On the other list, you're looking about how bad it will be if you don't take any action and you don't do it. So we've got the great outcome. Life will be great. It'll all be like this if I do it. Life will be bad and really bad like this if I don't do it. Now, what you need to do is get to a neutral state, you know, walk around for a few minutes, get relaxed. Read the positive list, read it and think, how inspired do I feel now to go take that action? Then you need to get back to a neutral state, perhaps walk around for a few minutes, read the negative list and say, does that list make me want to do it more than the first list? You've got to decide which of the two lists make you want to do this more than the other list. And then that's the one you read on a daily basis to motivate you to take that action. Now, one quick thing on this, ideally we want to use a positive list because with the positive list we are motivating ourselves by saying that's going to make us feel good and we're thinking about good stuff. But for some people, they don't believe in it enough, they don't believe it's possible enough to be able to think about good stuff and therefore they would use the negative list, all the bad stuff that's going to happen if they don't take this action, how bad they're going to feel, how bad their experience is going to be, maybe what other people might think, whatever, all that sort of stuff, all the bad stuff, in order to get going and starting to take some action. But the advice I'd give you, if you start with a negative list and motivate yourself about all the bad stuff that could happen, so that's the reason you want to avoid the bad stuff, that's the reason you're going to start taking action. Once you start to make progress, switch and start. Once you've got belief, you can see progress happening, switch and start using a positive list because it's far better to go through life being positively motivated than it is to go through life negatively motivated. But sometimes we need that negative stuff, that negative motivation, some of us do, in order to get started and get going. So I hope you found this useful. If you found this useful, please give me a thumbs up, like. If you're not currently subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so that YouTube will notify you when I've released a new video. I release a new video every single Sunday. Now, if there's a bell notification on your device, please hit that too and that'll let you know immediately that I've released a new video and it'll let you know about every video that I release. I'll also include links now here on this particular section of the video to other videos that are relevant to this one that you've just watched. I look forward to helping you and seeing you in the next video. Have a great week.